The Thai don't have a baking tradition, but they do have a tradition of baking things with batter, frying things with batter. And one of the batters they make is using rice flour, and this is finely ground white rice that is basically turned into a flour. And I'm going to use one cup of rice flour, six tablespoons of cake flour, just ordinary cake flour, half teaspoon of salt. And then whisk this all together just to combine. Now, for the liquid, I have here two things. I have here some effervescent liquid in this measuring cup, and I also have something pink and solid, and this is called limestone. And the tie would actually take chunks of limestone, put it into a jar, add water, shake it up, and then when the limestone settles, they would have this very bubbly effervescent uh, water. And so this is a natural carbonate. This here is a bottled carbonate. Again, natural, but natural spring water that's been car that's carbonated. So I'm going to use that. I found both equal uh, in terms of the results. This is kind of fun to use because it is really, really authentic. So pour in your liquid and then just whisk it around. And <clears throat> theoretically, this liquid should sit, this batter should sit for about Oh, 30 minutes or so. So it gives a, a lighter texture to the batter. This is like a pancake batter. So it's like a fairly thin pancake batter. And then that's it. So let's pretend that it's been resting for 30 minutes. And then we'll add our bean sprouts. These four ounces of fresh bean sprouts. And this is a half cup of raw shrimp. In the shell that I took the shells off and cut the shrimp into half inch pieces. And here are three scallions and two garlic cloves. And you can also substitute garlic chives, about half a cup of garlic chives for the scallions if you have access to them. And then just stir this around until they're all, everything is all evenly coated with the batter. And then we're ready to cook. Okay, heat up about oh, a quarter to a half inch of oil in a large skillet. Make sure that the oil is very hot, so do this over medium-high heat. And then take large spoonfuls of your batter and then just plop them in the oil. And this recipe should make about 12 of these uh, Thai bean sprout and shrimp fit fritters. And get some of it in and then add a little bit more to it, like that. And then what you're going to want to do, you'll probably have to cook them in a couple of different batches. But cook them for about one to two minutes per side until they're very nice and brown and crisp. And then we'll flip them over and then cook them for another couple of minutes. So we'll, get, we'll give these fritters just a little bit more time before we flip them over. Okay, let's see how these guys are doing. I'm going to flip them over. Yes, perfect. Uh, lovely golden brown. Flip them over and let them cook for, for another couple of minutes. And then when they're all cooked, and remove them from the oil with your spatula and then set them aside on a tray lined with paper towels to drain. And after you've cooked all of your fritters, serve them right away with the recipe for the Thai chili sauce that is also in the cookbook.